Hi everyone. So um, I chose to read chapter one, Saving a Child in The Life You Can Save by Peter Singer. Um, I did a little bit of looking around about on the book before I chose a chapter and based off of what I was seeing, I kind of got the impression I would want to read the whole book. So that's why I chose chapter one. So um, hopefully I will be able to read the rest of the book going forward. Now in chapter one, a lot of what's talked about is generally a lot of what we saw in the video. So especially with the thought experiment. So chapter one starts off with the, that thought experiment of if a child is drowning in water and no one is looking or no one is helping them, what are you going to do? Well, you're obviously going to want to run in and save the child. And all of us undoubtedly would do that, I assume. Now, we would do that because they are right in front of our face. But what if they're not in front of your face is essentially how I understood it. Um, you wouldn't, the, the chapter talks about how when there are children that are maybe starving in Africa or not have access to clean drinking water, we're very reluctant to donate money in a sense. Um, more so because we may feel like we can't, we don't have the funds to do so and things like that. Um, this chapter goes into talking about also what poverty is it and one thing that I found really interesting is it said that poverty is considered someone who lives on a dollar and ninety cents a day that's kind of drastic but also it says that the poverty level can be considered some someone who also could have a roof over their head has a TV has a car but they're just it's just they're not making a lot of money so the that was kind of interesting to me and then it talks about what people tend to do with their money and it it kind of dives into the super rich people so the super rich people are people that may that make billions and billions of dollars and what these people tend to do with their money is use it to their advantage to get something called a super yacht which is a decked out yacht basically and it can maybe hold 30 people and or they may even use the money to get a private jet, which may only hold 30 people. But if those, if that yacht or that jet was not like privatized in a sense, they could hold that like hundreds of people. So it's like, it's a double-edged sword, but the people have the money, so they're going to deck it out. They're going to make it so that they can use it for um, their personal needs. Um, it all, this chapter also talks about how basic, it basically compares the fact that we will save someone that we can see, a, a child in need in front of us, drowning in water, but we won't save, help save somebody who lives in poverty. So it's focused around what poverty is, what people tend to do with their money, and so, so forth. Um, so in my opinion, honestly, I think this chapter was like an eye-opener. Um, yes, I donate money, but do I always donate it to the right cause per se? That it made me question that. Um, but after watching um, Peter Singer's TED Talk, I kind of thought like I guess I'm not really donating my money to the right place um, because a lot of my money goes towards animal rights. I'm a big animal rights activist, as you can tell. I'm always wearing. I usually always have a shelter shirt on because I volunteer there, um, and I'm always willing to help. But um, I, I just think it's an interesting chapter. Um, it made me really think like, do I need to look at who I donate money to? Do I need to, like, is it really a burden for me to donate some money to help children? Like, because undoubtedly I would jump in the water and save a child who's drowning. But why am I not willing to help provide clean drinking water to a child in need? Or why is a child starving and I'm over here donating my money to animals? Now, it kind of goes, if I want to compare the fact that I'm donating money towards animals or humans, I think that goes back to last um, part one of this week when we were learning about personhood. Um, but I think that that's just a different topic. And in all reality, I think that I probably could be donating my money a little bit better as well. Um, anyways, I can't wait to see what you guys read and what your opinions are. Bye.